Hello and welcome to Ricky's Tech Talk. In today's video, I'm very excited to be showing you a new device. Also, it's extra special because this device is designed for those who are elderly and visually impaired, like myself. As some of you may not know, I'm visually impaired. I'm actually registered blind, but that means I still have some sight, but it's always great to take a look at new technology, but also technology that can help people. So today, introducing the Emporia Talk Active. So what's new about this phone is that it has a voice assistant built in all the way from setup. So let's take a look at it together. So on the front of the box here, we get to see our device. We've got Emporia Talk Active, you've got voice assistant, and it mentions that you will need a data SIM is required. Turning around to the back, we can just see the actual device itself once opened. And on the side, we've got a bit of information I just want to share with you. So you need a nano size SIM card, which is the smallest one that they make. It has the LTE connection, which is 4G, and also it's blueberry in color. Lovely, so getting it unboxed. Lifting the lid up, what do we get inside? So you've got general description. So you've got a general description of your device here. And we also have a quick start guide. So Emporia Talk Active Glam. And it's a sort of clamshell design. Information inside there, you will need to insert your SIM card and battery, um, but quite easy to do. But if you do have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, I will try my best to reply. So we've got Emporia, we've got our device here. So that blueberry in color. Turn around to the back, we've got Emporia again. You have an emergency button here that will contact your emergency contacts for you. So if you feel unsafe or say you've got your phone on you and you accidentally have a fall, press this button and it will call those contacts for you. Like that option and we'll be exploring more about this device as we go on. Lifting up, take this out of the way. So we've got USB-C headphones, that's nice to have. We've got a USB-A to USB-C for charging our device. So it's nice that it's USB-C, that means it's reversible. We have our battery, which I'll show you how to insert in a second. So you have another back plate here, and this one covers up that emergency button if you don't want to use it or don't show it. And again, blueberry in color, which is nice. You then have a cradle for your phone to sit in to charge, which I think is really nice. USB-C connection on the back and a rubber pedestal at the bottom so it won't slip away. And then finally, you've got your UK three pin plug that pops up with that third pin there. USB-A connection inside here. Use the cable into the cradle and you can charge your device. So lovely, nice amount of accessories that come with this phone. Taking a look at our device sort of clamshell design, which I used to love really. Let me know what was your favorite. Mine was the Samsung one. A nice clamshell design, large buttons, very tactile as well. No touch screens on here, which is really nice. So we've got a large power button at the bottom, but before we put our power on, we need to just insert our battery. So at the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little gap there to get a fingernail in. So you just lift that up. As you can see, I've already inserted my SIM card. To insert a SIM card in this device, all you do is use a fingernail and pull this little bit up, lift up and place your SIM card in. Pull down again and it locks into place. We then need to take our battery. So taking a look at our battery, we've got some gold pins here. You need the Emporia facing you and it already tells you. So it's down here at the bottom right hand corner. Slot in, there we go. We're gonna use the back plate so we can actually have access to that emergency button. So just push on, there we go, you should hear the clicks. Turn over and we're gonna use the power button that's down in the bottom. Right at the bottom is your power button, so we're gonna turn on. Had a little vibrate there. We've got something coming up on the screen, which is great. At the bottom, you've got your USB-C connection there as well, so if you do want to connect your headphones or your charger directly into the phone, you can do. And then we're into the setup process here. So it's gonna narrate everything back to you straight away. So I can either press one to select that one, or I can press the green. I'm gonna hit okay. Just gonna take this off, which is protecting the screen. It's so language English. So the time. The date. And go 
three. Yes, yes. Date set. Date set. So it lets me know everything. We're ready to go. That is how easy and simple it is to set up the Emporio Talk Active. Now our device is set up, let's take a look at the buttons that we have. So you're going to notice the green on the left hand side and the red on the right hand side. So this is going to be your more action option and the red is going to be your more coming back. So you have assigned contact one, assigned contact two. In the middle you have your camera button but when you press this you do get some information. and then it will load the camera for you. So here's a camera. It is a three megapixel camera, but you do have the option of a camera here. But it's nice that it gives you that information of the time and also gives you information of your battery level, which I think is really important. So coming back, that red always brings you back. You have your menu. Messages. And you can choose to press either one, two, three, four, five, and six, or you can scroll through. and then come back with the red and that brings you always back to this home screen. We've got our call history if I press the green one and because we haven't called anyone, we don't have anyone there to call. But when you make a call, Zero, seven, eight, seven, eight. it will actually narrate every digit you're pressing. If you receive a call from a contact that you know, say from, I called myself and I had myself in here, so it's a receiving a call from Ricky, or if I received a call from someone I didn't know, it would actually let me know the number that was calling me. So there's different options there and it narrates everything back to you. It's the same with your messages. So if I go into menu, messages. and we're gonna select messages, message. I can write a message if I want to, and you press the key depending on the letter you want. So if you want uh, G or I, you'll press it once or twice. But if we go into history, history press select again. Vodafone. So I've got a message here from Vodafone and I can press to hear it out loud. It's time to get connected. To enable data on this device, connect to a Wi-Fi network and head to https colon slash slash deviceguides.vodafone.co.uk slash send dash up dash your dash phone dash for dash internet then select your device, follow the simple steps and you'll be good to go. There we go, so it read our message for us, which is really nice. You could read it off here if you have a usable site, but if you don't, you can have it narrated back to you, which I think is really important. So coming back, if I had other messages and the contacts were saved, it would tell me who that message was from. Come back again, and it's letting me know where I am. Again, if you go into settings, you can explore through settings, and again, we'll take a deeper look at this in time. So coming back here, so that's really nice to know. And also all of this with slim, lightweight design with only 85 grams, it's very small, very lightweight and easy to use. With that emergency button on the back, all you need to do is press this and it will call your pre-assigned contacts. Emergency button is off. Switch it on in phone book. Emergency numbers, emergency button on off. So it's off at the moment, but say I had emergency contacts set up and say I accidentally had a fall, or unfortunately I fell, but I had my phone with me, press and hold that button, I could either talk to the person there, or even just let them know I need help. And once said that, they can call the emergency services and you can get help, which I think is really important. Really like this device, really think it's very helpful, and the accessibility features do mean it's fully accessible for those who are visually impaired, and for those who are elderly in life, and maybe need advice to help them stay in contact because I think being independent is fantastic, but also you don't want to be isolated in life. It's really important that we're not isolated and that we are able to live our lives that we want to. So a little bit of key information, first of all, is that we have USB-C for charging our device here. And as I said, you can connect the USB-C into your cradle if you want to and sit your device into the cradle making it really easy to charge, or you could take your cable and plug directly into your device if you want to. USB-C being great as it is reversible. And it's the same with the headphones as well. You can use the USB-C connection, reversible connection there, and you can talk to people as it has a microphone built in. 
or you could use the three pin plug. It's up to you. The choices are yours. On the back here, it is loudspeaker. You do have that emergency button. So looking at your display, what is it? It's a 2.2 inch, so it's corner to corner, 2.2 inch. It's TFT screen, it has a three megapixel camera and it's 85 grams, so really lightweight, not too heavy. You don't want anything too heavy. You don't want anything too bulky, but for me, it's large enough which is really nice to know. And one thing that Emporia actually did was work with the RNIB to make sure that it was accessible to those who are visually impaired. So just wrapping up the video now on the Emporia Talk Active, let me know what you think. It's a great lightweight design phone that can help so many people. I bet you have elderly people that you know, grandparents if you're lucky to still have them alive, people that are visually impaired can use this device and help their lives be more independent. It's great to hear what you think, so leave a comment below and I will make sure to get back to you. I really like a device that is helping people in the world. I think it's really important. So it's always great to hear from you. If you're new to Ricky's Tech Talk, make sure to hit subscribe. We've smashed past 30,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I think it's really important that we keep on going. So let's smash past 50. It's gone to sleep there, so let's just flip that down like that nice, satisfying feel. But for me, Ricky, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to stick around for future videos. There's going to be some just here that you can click and watch. For me, Ricky, have a great day and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.